Hello anyone who may be watching now or later and welcome to, well, Hillian's Hub. Uh, with me, Hillian, along with... Rakeel Scalebeard! <laughs> okay, I, I had thought of a new intro, but I <laughs> kind of forgotten it. So, <laughs> yeah, I had to fall back to the standard there. And anyways, welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island, Chapter 3, Lair of the Leviathan. Uh, last time that we played... Uh... Yeah, we found ourselves in a scenario straight out of freaking Pinocchio with uh, Guybrush and the rest of the ba uh, <laughs> Guybrush, Winslow, and Lafley swallowed by a freaking giant manatee. Wait, hold on, hold on. Yes, you have something here. I asked you earlier today what chapter we are on. Yeah. And you say we have chapter four. No, I said. I'm pretty sure I said chapter three. You said that the next chapter is five. Yep. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, we have some technical difficulties suddenly. <laughs> Alright, I... Uh, Alright, now, now uh, we're missing Helio. No. Uh, there we go. Uh, wait, this is a wrong game. Okay, seems like I hit... I hit one of the macro keys by accident. Uh, where is... That, not that. Uh, don't tell me you stuck at Technomate. There we go. <laughs> uh, no, what I mentioned earlier, I said we were on episode... You know, when our, we went... This is the fifth episode of us streaming it. The last time was the fourth episode that we streamed. Okay, then you misunderstood my earlier question, then. <laughs> Apparently. Anyways, let's get into the game for, finally. Uh, let's see. Hoping to get back on curse to Las, uh, Las Ponja Grande, Guyver set out to fix the Manatee's mysterious missing uh, cochlea. In the belly of the beast, he met the Kava's long-lost crew. They seemed well aware of the problem, but had no intention of helping Guybrush because he hadn't been voted into their brotherhood. He hornswoggled Nugi for a vote by setting him up with a memorable date with Morgan. He swayed Moose by ensuring that his buddy Santino would vote for Guybrush, or hardly or unhandedly as the case may be. Okay. I thought I'd made a save, uh, but apparently I've not been doing that. <laughs> we can immediately we enter up on Le Morgan making fun of us. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, no. the one last thing. Hmm? I should uh, be on this level, and I'm eating a sandwich. <laughs> uh, yeah, the last one we need to convince is Bug Eye here, and for that we need to beat him in a face-off. Um, but for that we need to get more faces still. And for that we need to trick uh, the Kava upstairs into drinking of the yellow bile. Hmm. Actually, I have a bit of an idea of maybe how we could do that. No, I don't. We need to get him to take off that thing in front of his eye. Yeah, that we, that we came to agreement we need to do. I feel like we figured out how to do it. Yeah, bro. Glad to see you're indulging. Now, for that, we need to get this inside of his headset, or whatever it is. But he needs to get... We need him to put it off uh, for some... Uh, we need to... Yeah, he needs to put it off first. So, how we are going to get him to do that... Nope. Never freaking mind. Nope, come on. <laughs> What is the freaking timing of that? <laughs> like here I'm thinking we're going to need to do some stupid thing to get him to put it off, and then he just casually lays it aside. No Bit of the... is there. Yeah. Oh, they... But now he won't oh, put it on. Oh, they are So, yeah, it's not a headset, it's just, it's just a different variant of monocular. Where has my monocular run off to, slippery devil? 
Okay, now that he doesn't have that, he's... He, he might take this. I found now monocular. I get it. Excellent. I'll just put... Uh, this isn't my monocular. This frame is a flimsy piece of junk. But check out that lens. That's quality Merfolk craftsmanship. Irregardless, take it back and find my monocular. Okay, we tried. But now we can just do this instead. Hmm, these lenses are about the same size. Dekava's monocular now has a red lens. He'll see the manatee through rose-tinted glasses. Or uncover loads of secret messages. <laughs> okay, Wait, uh, secret you were going to messages? say... Yeah, that because it like has a zoom. A zoom. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is going on? <laughs> uh, just bad timing on both of our part. But no, we used this thing to read small text before. So that's what he was hinting at. <laughs> oh. Your monocular, boss. Thank heavens. I was going mad without them. No harm done to them. Uh, the lens was cracked when I found it, so I replaced it. How resourceful of you, crewman. Taking after old Coronado, I see. Well, yeah, that's his own name. <laughs> He's going to ask for a moment who the hell is. Okay. Did you give him a cup of... Uh... Yeah, we need to feed him the the yellow bile. So... Oh, you got the orange. Yep. And because now he's seeing red, quite literally, uh, he, the yellow bile is going to look orange to him. Just... I'm assuming he's just going to empty it out on his own. The level's too low to take a sample. Yep. Forgotten that. Uh, let's see, this one. Yep. Uh, but <laughs> that still looks like a pair of freaking testicles that he's playing the bongos on. Oh, hey, don't man. make it worse. I like the... Like dick? I dig it. There we go. Okay, so I was wrong about the bile. I just <laughs> had the feeling we had to... Uh, maybe we still do need to ri have it rise even more to chase these idiots off. Okay. I have to say, I'm not usually easily disgusted. I could be able to watch horror, gory horror movies and all that. And eat a pizza lot just fine, but... Something about this. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I have something similar with... Uh, usually I can stand a bit of gore, but for some reason, Y sections on bodies always disturb me for some reason. They, like you see in CSI they, and such. I think I, I get some immunity thanks to CSI. Okay, here we go. A mug full of the bily bubbly, and thank oh, you no. for avoiding oh. the corrosive yellow icon. Check out those eyes. <laughs> oh, even the orange has gone foul. Never again. It's Eustachian runoff or seawater for me from here on. Uh, what? I don't know what Eustachian is, and I probably don't want to know. Oh yeah, I only just now, uh, only just then realized that half of this, his other eye is blocked off by that thing. Which explains why he doesn't notice that it's <laughs> not orange. Okay. Um, I think we should have all of the uh, faces, uh, <clears throat> pardon, all of the expressions ready oh, yeah. then. Now what? Okay. I'm ready to beat you in a pirate face-off. Well, I hope you've done some face research since our last one. Okay, just made a quick little ready? sketch of uh, which are going to be used. Here comes the Arr! stinky cross-eyed meanie. <laughs> I've seen a tougher face on a newborn. Check this one out. Okay, Stinky is already in use. Uh, lazy eyed and Meanie, and we are still missing one here, apparently. 
Hmm. Okay. Let's do... What was it? Yeah, we're stinky. Let's nast, cross-eyed, and then geezer. It's the R. Nasty, cross-eyed, geezer. Some fresh moves, but not enough. Partial originality is as you've got nothing, but I'm just warming up. Yeah. You. Yeah, he, he used nasty himself, so that was on you. Uh, okay. I was, just, I was just to tell you, but you, you had already pressed the button. Oh, uh, my bad on that. I get the feeling. I get the feeling we might get the last eye thing from Noogie because he has those glasses. Mm. Thanks for the vote. Thank you. I think I got a future with that piping hot pirate hunter. Hmm. Bye, Noogie. Bye. <laughs> that face he makes. Okay, but seriously, I... Wait. I get the feeling we might get it from Moose here, since his eyes are covered the entire time. Possibly. Uh, but I... See ya. Later on. Wait, maybe if we just feed him... Let's try and feed him some of the normal with a with the mug. Yeah, he, Glad to see you're indulging. he might decline it because he has his own mug. But we can also try and feed him the yellow icor. Look at my car. I'm solid, bro. Thanks, but don't let it go to waste. Hit that, man. No, I am also solid. Drink! Why? Okay, fine. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> then again, I wouldn't touch that stuff <laughs> either. Uh. I get people eat the most strange thing out of desperations. But th th this is worth the limits. Yeah. Noogie, my man. Okay. I, I like the beat. Uh. I dig it. I'll... Let's try feeding him the yellow ichor, if he will take that. Um, if not, I'll look up a hint. Gabrus hasn't been giving any hints in this area f so far. It's only that... Hmm. Most of you have not been really been stuck too long. Toxic now, it could be that we've been making small bits of progress just in time for him to not give hints and such. Hmm. Yeah, and I think you actually accidentally put it on low or something on this chapter. We should be able to change it back here. Settings. Okay, now it is okay. on the highest now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually made... Can we offer you this? Mug vial? No, I don't touch that stuff. Okay, then what the hell do you drink slash eat here? Mug vial? Whoa, pal. What did I tell you about this stuff in the pools? Even I can't handle that, Brian. Right. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. I got an idea. Why yeah. don't ask what his favorite is? I think we've done that. Mug of bile? Ha! I wasn't born yesterday. If you think you'll assassinate the destroyer of worlds with a poison drink, think again. I very much doubt that we can get Morgan to drink this. Maybe the orange, but... Hmm. Mug of bile? Stop sampling the local flavor and get us out of here. Yeah, I thought so. Hmm... Okay, yeah, let's do a little search then on how the hell we where the hell we get that last look. Let's see. Tales of Monkey Island Face Off. Okay. Uh, the, the... Hmm. 
Wait, did we? No, we we have, must have already done that. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Top voted answer. Get Nui to play the bomb goes fast. Use the bomb. To... Mm -hmm. Yes, we already know that. Break off with your stupid stuff. Word on the painting? Okay. Yeah, wasn't the painter around here? Uh, yep, here. Okay, I'd completely forgotten about that. Anity bile, the ocean's natural solvent. Whoa, check out those peepers. <laughs> they should do nicely. Okay. I'm surprised that uh, he's seen a video where multiplayer does that. Ahoy there. Now what? Let's go another round. Haven't had enough yet, dollface. Okay, crossing out these. Ready? I'll go first. It's the stinky, lazy eyed, stinky, stinky, lazy, meanie, stinky, lazy, meanie. Okay, stinky, lazy, meanie. Okay. Then we try hooded tweaking monkey. Go! What the heck? <laughs> Go! Here comes the Arr! hooded tweaking monkey. <laughs> Gnarly! Cheap whistle has made it through the first round. Oh come! Nice, but can you top this? He's got the. Arr! Nasty cross-eyed geezer. Nasty cross geezer. <laughs> Here comes trouble. That's <laughs> nasty cross geezer, which leaves bugged out, fish eyed, and gomer. Yep. He's got the arr, bugged out, fish eyed gomer. Bye. Well, I'll be. I've given you all the faces that I know. Unbelievable. Threepwood has beaten the high prince of the puss. Bravo. Mm. Now is the ombudsman of unoriginality. <laughs> Unoriginal? Me? <laughs> if you say so, short stack. I beat you. Now I demand your what? Rights. Is that so? Oh, I almost forgot. Forgot what? I've had this old thing laying around. Low holes to Betsy. Could it be? Holy How did... buckets! It's the bug eye! Oh, that. Arr! So Rarely that's what they call it. Him... How do you. The challenger can't top that. This competition is over. Are you suggesting that I pull out both of my eyes? Whoa. Extreme. He clearly broke the rules. Which rule is that? <laughs> well, there ought to be a rule concerning the use of the freaky eye. I put up a fight. Can't you just give me your vote? I stated my terms. <laughs> That's just the freaking fine leather jackets again. Well, well it's a meme. Entire time, We're huh? not missing Take out. long enough to figure out. It's probably something from the very first game. Yes, that we completely but it's, miss. I, I, I feel like it's older that I just actually we have to late to check out what's what about the fine leather jacket. I feel oh, like there's a history about it. Oh, you know, I've been in the market, but no. Your vote, or you're a dead man. Resorting to petty threats. Good luck. Oh, I don't have time for this. I'm sick of your runaround. Oh, here I'm we sick go. of your silly faces, and I'm sick of... Whoa. Maybe you're just sick, brah. Here we go. You, you yelly 
Bloody deserter! I've crushed the souls of men ten times as tough as you and forgotten them by lunch. You'll do as I say, or rue the name three foot for the rest of your very short life! <laughs> Whoa. It's the ferocious, uh, green demon face? Threepwood wins with the nastiest mug this side of the hypothalamus. Uh huh? Fine, he wins. My vote is yours, but I've got my eye on you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was good timing for once. Dear. Okay, Hi time there. to call the vote. Now what? <laughs> All right, call the vote. I feel good about my chances. Very well. Gentlemen, Goldilocks here would like to join the Brotherhood. Sweet. Voting time. My favorite. Um, I think you just walked away from your favorite. Brother Noogie, concerning the initiation of one Guybrush Threepwood, what say you? Um, yes. I vote yes. I think he'll help raise morale. <laughs> Doubtful. Brother Moose, what say you? I gotta go with my boy Santino on this one. Yes! Roll out the red carpet and let it run with the blood of Threepwood's torment. Ready to rack. Oil up the thumbscrews! <laughs> Man, you're something else, Santino. I say, yeah, my boy's got an eye for character. Nah, fine. I <laughs> vote no. Hey! You said if I beat you in a pirate face-off, I'd be in like Flynn. Yeah, man. Me? I think you gotta keep your end of the bargain on this one. Oh, all right. But only to maintain the integrity of the Brotherhood. Bureaucratic ethics win again. <laughs> you have a unanimous vote and a formal invitation to join the democratically <laughs> united Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. I accept. Do I get a sash? Or a button? No. Welcome, brother. Welcome. Burn in flame! You guys should really have buttons. I think they'd be a hit. What you do receive is the honor of one of the Brotherhood's greatest responsibilities. As the most junior member, you'll be the caretaker of the Cobra. <laughs> it's the key to our permanent vacay. You you where the hell did you hide that thing? Guard it with your life, brother. Seriously, where were they hiding that thing? Good question! Uh, and also... If they only knew what they have done! <laughs> yeah... Actually, can I show this thing to people? Morgan, I got the cochlea! Then go replace it in the ear canal so we can get out of here! I'd like to get you back to Flotsam while I'm young enough to spend the bounty. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to show it to Murray, and then we're going up. Thanks for voting me in, Murray. I got the cochlea. That's some kind of horrible disease, right? <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> One cochlea procured. Uh-huh. We'll be out of here in two shakes of a pirate's booty. <laughs> up to you, which kind of booty? So he's surprised he called... I would make out a bug guy called uh, Guybrush, it was name. How did I forget that name? I'm surprised bug guy called Guybrush a short stack. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure they're equally as tall. Yeah, I'm, that might be due to I'm used to the short stack being more for a term for a short woman that's very curvaceous in the right places. <laughs> hey, I've got the cochlea. I'll believe it when I see it. Trying to get out of grub scrounging duty, no doubt. Well, I'll just go put this back where it belongs, and then it's mating grounds or bust. <laughs> okay. Let's just get up here and get out of this thing <laughs> before we actually find freaking Pinocchio. <laughs> Alright. Um, now, it's been about... Yeah two streams each time to get through or a stream and a half to get through each of these chapters. Here you go, pal. Kind of. Whoa. Yep. I think we're back on course. So I think 
I think we might think be I done with this now. chapter, this stream. How about that? I felt the beast rumble and checked my compass. It says that we're right on course. Ancient manatee mating grounds? Here we come. How did you fix his sense of direction? Funny you should ask. I ran into your old crew. My crew? Yeah, and they uh -oh. had the cochlea the entire time. I just pretended I wanted to join their stupid club and... My crew! Yeah, your crew. Alive this entire time. Who would have thought? You betrayed us! Uh... uh -oh. Yeah, I did kind of sell you guys out. We trusted you! Unbelievable, man. Uh, look, guys, I can explain. There's no need. Ah, Bug Eye, the unlikely voice of reason. Breaking the trust of the Brotherhood has only one consequence. An embarrassing facial tattoo? Death. Kill him. hey -o. <laughs> oh, Ben, he still has time to do the flip. <laughs> and now it becomes a yakety sack scene. Stop. It's killing time. Excuse me? A trio of bloodthirsty mutineers are gonna pop out of that hole in three, two... What did I say earlier about running to me for help? One! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wait, what? What is... What is he... <laughs> what is Moose... <laughs> what is Moose <laughs> wielding? <laughs> oh, it's a... <laughs> It's a blue bottle for the moment. <laughs> uh. I could use a hand. Ha! He wants help from a girl. Are you still whining over that little scratch I gave you back on the narwhal? Scratch! You you, you took off his hand. So you a sash. <laughs> Faster! Ah, uh, the mutineers were calling you a pansy earlier. No, we weren't. He said you were a wilting flower. That sounds like Guybrush Threepwood. It's go time, Morgan. I can't just be told when to fight. I'm not some junkyard dog. Yeah, man. <laughs> Treat a woman with respect, would you? <laughs> Nogi keeps falling over. <laughs> over here. Uh, it should be on the next pass. And I'm yep. gonna crush. <laughs> he just falls for some reason. Look, I'm sorry about before. Sorry about what? About assuming you were incapable of handling the situation. You are capable. Now, please show these mutineers your capabilities. And? And you're a mighty bounty hunter. That's sweet. But aren't you forgetting something? Smite him, smite him. Huh. What? Oh! Weapon privileges restored. <laughs> I should have done the other ones first. Thank you. So the hell is that up there? Mutineers of the crew of Coronado de Cava. I would like to establish, for the record, that the four of you were just manhandled by a woman. So in essence, you've been woman-handled. Which I imagine was not near as pleasant as it sounds. Go dangle your yardum, you traitor! Nice work, Morgan. Thanks, Captain. I mean, thanks, honey bunch. Now, Coronado, how do we get out of here? I'm 14 steps ahead of you, Miko. Here, this should do the trick. That's a unique formula of Panamanian prune juice, East Indian espresso <laughs> beans, and booty breakfast bran flakes. A few drops administered to the creature's digestive system should be our one-way ticket topside. Got it. A few uh, drops in the biggest mile pool I can find. <laughs> Winslow's still dying in there. Also, uh -oh. I'm pretty sure that's said laxative. Done and done. At least short for Everyone laxative. This happens to be Swedish for salmon. <laughs> yes, we call salmon lax. Or lax. Yep. That was the, the painting, I think. It's so, uh, yeah, they're going out the. Uh, Back exit. <laughs> Think it. <laughs> oh, hello. Yuck! I 
could have been worse. Really? Just a quick trip up the blowhole. Manatees don't have blowholes. What? Then... Oh, yeah. Yuck. Hey, about down there. I was a bit of a monkey's ass. No, well, yes, but I was going to say that your style's not so bad. Uh, nothing if not stylish. Anyway, I work alone, but you and I made a decent team. Hey, lovebirds, quit flapping your gums and get up here. My treasure sits mere fathoms away. <gasps> and my ship, the Howler Monkey. I thought I'd never see you again. I've dropped anchor down to the mating grounds and the cavern that lies Sponja Grande. Now, if only my lawyer crew was worth a piece of eight, star crew ever even had the temerity to expire. What's the problem? Santino was not only a world-class swordsman, full fighter, and pastry chef. He was also, most importantly, an unrivaled skin diver. There is no other man who can survive the swim down to the mating grounds. Guybrush can hold his breath for ten minutes. Is that so? Yep. Yeah, hello, <laughs> son of manatee. Well then, what are you waiting for, Bucko? Yeah. <laughs> and make it a snappy. Jackass. I had to even see what Bucko means. Uh, that scene did feel a bit rougher than most, but oh well. Dumb. I, I would have assumed that the Maui monkey ship would have been, well, <laughs> would have sunk immediately since it was in the middle of that, <laughs> of that well, goo ball. <laughs> okay, here's the anchor and, oh. <laughs> hello. I'm assuming we don't have an actual time limit here. Yeah, I think this is the manatee we rode in on. It looks okay, considering. Hey there, uh, manatee. All right. Good talk. It looks more like a dog than a manatee almost there. Yeah. But more really? like a pug at the Yeah, but here's a fun fact. Pugs only have teeth four back in their mouth. Basically means they can't harm anyone with their bites. Let's have a look. This doesn't look like a manatee. Whoa. Check out the ominous remains of dead giant sea creatures. Odd. Oh, uh, beware of Leviathan. Leviathan country. All ocean life is dangerous. Do not approach or feed. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I guess... Oh, please stay on call. Let's see here. 6,000 doubloons, the jewel crown of Queen Archipelago. Oh, and a golden wrenchy thing. Score! <laughs> Wait, a uh, golden wrench? That's not going to be much use since gold is soft. <laughs> yeah, like, sure, you could make a good a ball maze of gold, but still. There's better metal to uh, make weapons from. Yeah, you you just as likely leave a dent in your freaking maze and in your enemy's skull. Yeah, the only one thing mm. actually regularly use gold in the metal was the Aztecs in an alloy of bronze, I don't know, uh, tin, copper, and gold. I forgot its name. Uh, rose gold, maybe. Uh, mm. it has a it has a very unique name that Aztec used themselves. If it's probably why I do remember, for it's not. It doesn't have an English name, so to speak. Okay. Uh, also, is it, if it looks a bit odd every now and then on the with the model, that's because I have a a, a half melting ice snack next to me. <laughs> so I'd rather get rid of that before it's completely melted. I was about to say earlier, eat that up before the stream. Society welcomes you to La Esponja Grande. Please stay on the path. It's a bit bigger than. Uh, I could have wolfed down in a minute. Let's see, stack of shells. Is he an ice cream shell? boat, by the way? And speaking of boats, going all the way back. You shall not eat that one. <laughs> Note 
yourself. Never go fishing over the sacred manatee mating grounds. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Um. Yeah, we we weren't really able to stream earlier in the week because of well work and such. So, but yeah, that, that's going to be annoying. Uh, Finally, the home of Lias Bonja Grande. Uh, it's not going to be that easy, especially. Oh. Are you trying to doggy paddle? Oh, that didn't work. Did. Horrible. Teeth. <clears throat> Gnashing. Ferocious. Leviathan. I neglected to mention the Guardian of Lyspawn. What was it? A giant squid? They've been known to hunt and swallow entire Corsairs. No. <gasps> Megalodon? Devil whale? Worse. What then? Female. Giant. Manatee. The monster must be tamed, Cheap Whistle. <laughs> what? A roll of newspaper? Taming the female is no easy task. Their fickle minds are the greatest of all riddles. Complex. Confounding. Beautiful. Are we still talking about manatees? Equipped my crew to be able to communicate with the creatures. Alas, Santino was the only one who had learned to understand their song. You would have put all your eggs in one basket, huh? Oh, what an explorer he would have made. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, all of the other giant manatees are uh, competing for her attention. The question uh, is, is she stuck in there? Uh, the entrance didn't look quite big enough to fit her, so she might be. Uh, yeah, let's see what sort of stupid idea he has. You don't have some cockamamie plan for taking care of the Leviathan? Nothing. I originally spent three months fabricating a giant manatee shooter to be piloted by a crew of 15 men, all well learned in the ways of bestial romance. But sadly, they were lost during a trial run. Mashed like peas. Um. <laughs> okay. What? Uh, San Diego has a bit of a body count. Santino wasn't raised by giant manatees, was he? How can you understand that? Learned it on Flotsam Island, I believe, from a scientist. Ah, uh, Marquis? Huh. Even if we could get the winds to work in our favor, I'm not leaving this anchorage. I've come too far to risk losing the location of my super absorbent prize. Okay, so we need the marquee. I think we might not actually be able to finish this here. And that we'll actually have to let Morgan take us in so we can get the marquee here. Sure, Santino could understand manatee, but how did he make those strange noises to communicate with them? With the tongue of the manatee, of course. What's the deal with you and manatee parts? It's a device that I plan to market to tourists such as yourself after this adventure was complete. It allows you to produce their sounds. Yeah. So I don't have to put my mouth on anything gross? I asked one of my crewmen to watch after it long ago. Let me guess. Santino. Certainly not. His skills were not to be wasted on such a simple mission. It would have been one of the others, though I'll be slivered if I can remember which one. So one of the mutineers should know where the tongue of the manatee is? I imagine so. Okay, time to interrogate then, it seems. Okay, got it. Learn to communicate with the manatee and lie Sponja Grande will finally be within our grasp. Hmm. Or maybe we don't have to overcomplicate things ag it again. Means, visit the sacred giant manatee mating grounds, home to La Esponja Grande, 200 fathoms. No littering. The hell is that noise? Hey, what, what, what is oh. that? Oh. It's a. F <laughs> Let's get rid of you. Come here, you. I was to ask, what the heck are you doing with your ice cream? <laughs> The ship, the Howler Monkey. 
It might not be the fastest ship in the Caribbean, but it's certainly seen the most bile. <laughs> okay, I don't think it'll be a good idea to pull this thing, but let's all the same. Ah, come on, not even a, not even getting pulled off. Hey Morgan, I know you're a cutthroat pirate hunter, but do you have any female insight into this manatee problem? You mean the monster? The same. This thing is colossal. Teeth the size of a ship's mast. It's been killing any male manatee that gets within a flipper's length. You know, she might seem cold and brutal, but she's probably just, I don't know, lonely. You know? Shouldn't she just stop murdering anything that gets near her cave then? What did you do when she showed her teeth? Hello? I ran away. Right. You know what I think? What's that? She needs another manatee to stand its ground and not be so afraid of her. She kills them because that's all she knows how to do. And if someone could overcome that fear of death and stand in front of her long enough to teach her something different, I think she might just let them. So and then we could get the sponge? Yes, and then we could get the sponge. And then we can cure Elaine! Perfect! Talk a male manatee into standing its ground. Thanks, Mo. You're the best. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. He's so talking about herself. <laughs> well, I think she was able to relate to her more, right? But... Oh, no. What hmm? the heck happened there? I just clicked off the off the game for a second to try and fix something in OBS. Okay, you got me word there for a split second. There. You see that red border around something that's selected? Yeah, just trying to get rid of that off of the VTube stuff. Now let's talk to each of these morons to see what we can get out of them. I need information. I'll never break. Tongue of the manatee. Who had it? Never find it, betrayer. Thought you were the scaredy cat of the group. I'm deceptively principled, unlike you, Benedict Arnold. <laughs> what? In reference to, um... Uh, um... Uh, I'm drawing a I know the name, but I'm drawing a blank from, from what exactly. I think... Uh, oh, wait, wasn't Benedict Arnold the one that shot uh, Lincoln? Or was that... It is. You know, Oswald was who shot Kennedy. Uh, you're a betrayer. But do you think Morgan is still into me? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. See how you still have all your limbs? That means she cares. Good. Oh, no. Uh, what? You... You can't intimidate me. Ah, uh, I... Okay. Uh, uh, I think you... Oh, I think you're still going to be... Up. You're supposed to scare them. To give you the information. No, oh, you can't intimidate me. Hmm. All right, that's enough. We'll have to see about this. Uh, I don't think we. I don't think Murray has much to add since, well, he's the newest member. Tec well, second newest, technically speaking. You, Murray. His name is Santino. Santino. I know you know Diddley. That might be so, but I'll never talk, and the wills of these men will be stronger for it. The Skull is right. This information won't come easy. Brotherhood's not so cool now, is it? Wait until we chew through your ropes of oppression and topple your puppet regime. Wow, Murray, you've gone political. I just learned all those words. <laughs> Throwing you overboard. Yeah, try it, fumble fingers. Zoinks! <laughs> Actually bites. Please, may Moose be in the other games. Tell Moose to give up his info. Never! 
I revel in your frustration with my tight-lipped comrade. Talk to you later. Be gone, oppressor. Yeah, I get the feeling he's going to be in return to Monkey Island, the newest one that's they're working on at the moment, because he showed up in the trailer for it, and well, he's shown up in every game since his debut in uh, <clears throat> uh, Curse of Monkey Island. Right, and I, I did, that's why I recognize his voice uh, from that trailer. All yep. right, you. Tongue of the manatee, who had it? Not telling you, man. I'll never talk. Santino's with me on this. Yeah, we'll rot before you know anything. Solidarity, brother. <laughs> you can't rot anymore. Uh, tough guys, huh? Let's see what happens when I tighten the screws. Hurt me all you want. I'll never sing for the man. Yeah, hurt him all you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Santino will snap like a twig. Two are like three times stronger than one. You'll never break either of us. You'll have to kill me. And I'm already dead. You got nothing on us, bro. <laughs> Sorry to have to go and pull you away from your icon. Unbelievable, bro. I thought you and I were going to have buckets of good times. Just you, me, Santino, Jumbo Jimbo, partying at the cantina. Yeah. Maybe hit the mucus flume for a there change of pace. Yeah, can't believe I'm gonna miss out on the mucus flume. <laughs> for Moda, was who's the hell is Jumbo Jim? But that's that big ass thing he had. Ah! Ha! You can't scare me with Santino by my side. The fires of my rage will keep you warm, brother. You can't stay tough forever. Watch me. Watch him. Okay. Actually, how is... Ben Winslow, how are you feeling? On the mend, sir. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to let you know that we're out of the manatees, so whenever you feel like joining us on deck... Uh, try to tell me what to do again, and you'll be clear hauled halfway to Sunday. Sorry. Hmm. Maybe we need to use him to scare them? I need information. You'll never make me talk. I draw my strength from the Brotherhood. Who had the tongue of the manatee, scumbag? I didn't have it. I can't remember who had it, but it wasn't me. He's <laughs> telling the truth. You, what? I didn't even have to do anything. Sometimes they break easy, like delicate Fabergé eggs. Look at him. He's a wreck. Just don't hurt me! Mine. <laughs> I, was, I thought he'd be the, the most difficult one, but now he snaps like... <laughs> he snaps like that. I'm surprised. Very surprised at this madness. What else do you know? Nothing. But. Please let me go. I want to go home. Or is he acting or something? See what you get for being a stick in the mud? We'll see. Okay. Talk to you later. So it wasn't Bug Eye or Santino, so that either leaves Noogie or Moose. I need information. I'll never break. Hmm. Uh, that... Hey, Moose. Any tips? Those mutineers have information. I've got ways of making them talk. Uh, I bet you do. But you know what? I think I've got this. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Well, you work for me, Singe. How can I get back to Flotsam? I need him to teach me how to understand manatee. The next time you set foot on Flotsam, you'll be dissected. Catchy. You ever consider a career with their Chamber of Commerce? Failing there isn't an option. Lose your heart on Flotsam Island, along with your spleen. What you Pay need attention. is a way to get to Flotsam without being on Flotsam. Hey, huh? that sounds like a puzzle. You really are warming up to my shtick. Okay, but how... She she got onto freaking Flotsam because she got into his lab. Your metaphysical tomfoolery is boggling my mind. How do I get to Flotsam Island without being on Flotsam Island? I'm saying you need to get back there, but you can't set foot on the island. So, 
Good luck with that. Hmm. Yeah, not a bad idea. Can I borrow your sword for a minute? Just for a minute. Thanks. Nice. Okay. Okay. I think we need to do astral projection. Okay, I forgot he actually mentioned these. Wait. <laughs> like, oh, a he, crown he, six. I, I thought he ignored him. The crown of Queen Archipelago. Upon further examination, the jewels are plastic. Ah, and these are fake as well. Then I'm guessing. That's a lot of coin. Yep, no, those are real. Because I was, I was worried that we, you know, shot the coin. Yeah, I get the stupid idea of nope, not that. Salmon sure does flop around a lot. Ooh. Oh, black. I don't want anything bad to happen to this fish. Hmm. We need to humiliate them or something. The seahorse head any more than I have to. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it had to come to this. The tongue of the manatee location, or someone here will never need a milliner again. Uh, a milliner? Hat maker. A hatter. I'm cutting off somebody's head. <laughs> you don't have the stones. <laughs> don't I? You don't scare me with your sharp, shiny stick, puny mortal. I am Santino, the incontrovertible demonic skull. And I shall... <laughs> three words! <laughs> and Come back on! into the scene. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, man! What? What happened? We can't see! He did it! He's crazier than a sack of eels, man! What did he do? Santino's dead! Ah! <laughs> He's already Don't been dead. Anyone else. I'll talk. Yep. Go. I didn't have it. That's all I can remember. Yep. Forgive me for not trusting your vile encrusted memory. I didn't have it, bro. He's telling the truth. Or at least he thinks he is. Alright. Who's next? <laughs> that solved that, so now we have to now we have to break Nogi. I need information. I'll never break. Uh, yeah, bye bye, Murray. <laughs> uh. All right, that's enough. No, oh, the, the weather vane's back on the back here. I just got a glimpse of it. There it is. <laughs> oh, Murray. Hmm. Okay, how do we get him to talk then? I'm pretty sure this stuff only works on giant manatees. And besides, Ugh. Yeah. Can we bribe you? I've got some mighty fine treasure here, and it could all be yours if you just tell me where the tongue of the manatee is. I don't want treasure. I want freedom. Freedom. Nope. Uh, try to. Try. I've got some mighty. I don't. Okay. Same response. Uh, branch. No bolts to turn here. Nope. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna hold on to this fine picture for a bit. Hmm. Be right back. Just gonna refill my drink. Okay. Says, hello. Well, Summer. My words. Or at least not to resort to out and out murder. Oh yeah, don't murder anyone while I'm away. <laughs> no promises. Let's see. Maybe you have something to tell? What is it, Swabby? So. What you doing? Working. On? Plan B. Oh, good thinking. Okay. You said there's a scientist on Flotsam who understands manatee? Yes, Santino learned it from him. Good luck getting to Flotsam, though. I shall not leave this spot until La Esponja Grande is in my hands. You know you could anchor your own ship for that, right? And let us go somewhere else. Hmm. What was that about the manatee Tungus Maximus? It's a device that allows you to sing their song. Like I said, I can't remember which crew member I asked to protect it. Do you have anything about... No, okay. Hmm. All right, that's enough. Shoot yourself. Oh, hello. Oh, the locket. The Kava's locket. Voodoo trinket or foil-wrapped candy with a nougat center. Look all you want, but don't take it. Voodoo lady, a little younger, a little thin, well, a little younger. 
guy brush Coronado de Cava. a little younger a little saner actually I never noticed this before I wonder what it does sky brush the voodoo power contained within that locket is not to be meddled with the last time you fiddled with the powers of voodoo you stupidly unleashed the powers of <laughs> okay it's a it's a quick doll to have the voodoo lady um. Hmm. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> okay. Now, how are we going to get Noogie to talk? No, no. Hmm. I don't want anything. If there's one thing democracy has taught me, sometimes you just need to make an example out of someone to get results. Frigid, brah. Frigid. Do we really need to just start making random faces at him? Talk to you later. Well, it's not like I need to swim back to Flotsam. I just need to get my brain back there so I can fill it with manatee language goodness from the singe. Hmm. So sort of like using this thing, but in reverse or something? Let's try this again. Hmm. We're still going to need that freaking tongue of the manatee thing as well. Hmm. Did we miss anything down here? There's the anchor. Probably don't want to mess with that. It's gone? Oh, wait, there's a clan there. Oh, that just brings us back. Okay. I, we could probably try and open that thing up with uh, the swords. So back down we go. The sword not break. Please don't break. Well, Morgan is going to be very cross with us. <laughs> no, it's just going to make us into a skull and crossbone. Um. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Or is turn you into skull and crossbone? Oh, hello. The remains of one of those legendary seahorse creatures. Giant manatees gobble them up like cheese squigglies. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if those were appetizers or dessert. Ooh. Yeah, I don't see anything else to interact with. Maybe we can this send it to the fishing. Carnivorous. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Again, trying to doggy paddle out. <laughs> it looks so stupid. <laughs> I need to swim back to Flotsam. I just need to get my brain back there so I can fill it with manatee language goodness from the singe. I don't think we want to know how you'd send your brain back, guy, Uh, I think I should just talk to him. Wait, we can talk to him? Hungry fellow? Hey. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Is there anything here we'd want? I haven't played bongo since my stint as a beat poet. Okay. <laughs> hmm. This is disgusting. Okay, so we can get more of the bile, but no. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no, we need to punch that as well. 
I'd never punch a manatee. Well, maybe it's self-defense. Okay, I'm bringing... <clears throat> You need to draw a blank again. All this treasure can't be good for the manatee's digestion. It's Sherlock. Okay, let's head back out. I, yeah, I don't think. Oh, oh, hold on. <laughs> Floppy fish. <laughs> <laughs> for a I thought for a moment uh, there wasn't anything that we could get in here, but we can still get some of the bile, though we don't have anything to keep it in. Hmm. Just the devil, do ya? Whoops. Is he just going? Is he going to wrap up everything now? <laughs> Okay, just smash cut to past all of that. That was, um... Actually, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so... We lost the fish. And we could get ourselves eaten again, but I don't think we want to. Hmm. <laughs> Let's try making some more faces at, uh, Noogie. And if we st still can't move on, we'll look up another hint. Yeah, I need I, information. I I'll never. Uh, uh, I, say, uh, I suspect it's probably inside the damn uh, mantis still. Just we need him to reveal where it is. Yeah. <laughs> Find it, betrayer. Actually, he does. He, <clears throat> I guess that should have been a hint that he does know where it is because he doesn't say uh, that he doesn't have it. He just says we won't find it. Arr! You. We just need to find a specific combination or something. Arr! We just need to keep doing this. You. Mm. Hey, maybe right, Morgan enough. can help us here. Hey, Mo. Do you know anything about the language of manatees? No. I speak a little monkey, though. Wait, what? About this female manatee? Yeah. Get a male manatee to stand its ground. Then what? Oh, I could teach him the courting dance of the Monkey Island Cannibals. Or how about you get him to string a coherent sentence together? A little humor doesn't hurt either. Your metaphys... How do I... I'm saying you need to get back there, but you... Thanks. Does she have some sort of... <clears throat> she must have some sort of artifact or something, maybe. Hmm. How's Winslow doing? As much as I'd like to be keel hauled halfway to Sunday, I think I'll let Winslow rest up. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's not bored of your Ruma, relative here. Perhaps some info in my files could help you communicate with our mutinous friends. It's not like I need to swim back to Flotsam. May I have a look at your files? As a trusted member of my crew, there's nothing I wouldn't share with you. Really? Go right ahead. Nope. <laughs> okay, he made these quick. Uh, what did they say? Uh, expertise, mighty piracy, turn on my wife, of course, greatest fear. This was. <laughs> Come on. Uh, referencing to Monkey Island 2. Under things, spawn the ruse. What? Keep an eye on this one. Okay. Why do you hate the porcelain? 
uh, name Nugi, Expertise, Percussion, Technon, Leather, Greatest Fear, Sister Agnes, Mugshot Attached, <laughs> Things Briefs, not much use. <laughs> okay, so we'll have to, <laughs> we'll have to mimic that. Uh, Whoa, look I, at the mug on that nun. Yeah, but did it, did, did it mention Nuki a few times? Did, is that who they meant? N Nuki is the guy. Hey, this is Sister Agnes. Oh. Let's see. So one eye up, grin, and eyes off. Okay, let's check these. Let's see. Santiago, aka Senor Santistico, the Sandman, Tino, T Bird, Sir Santino, the Duke of Triumph. Swordplay, bullfighting, pastry, chefry, skin diving, matchmaking, treasure hunting, the language of the giant manatees, cross stitch, the turn on being Santino, greatest fear, utterly fearless, <laughs> all naturals. <laughs> what a dish. Uh, moose. What? M. Musolski, expertise, leisure, primo talent, uh, bombers, it's all good. What? Questionable birth ethic, unusual smell. And lost beneath bug eye. Expertise, pugilistics, the hell is that? It turned on the blood of tyrants, the life on lives, and he wears boxers. Bit of a fuzz bucket. <laughs> Okay. So, <clears throat> one eye up, cross-eyed, and with the odd mug. I need information. I'll need... Okay, Arr. so at, at least they didn't have us guessing. Let's see. Stinky. Cross-eyed. Geezer. No, Sister Agnes, Nuggie, sorry. Who had the tongue of the manatee or you get the face again? It was Moose. Moose had it. Oh, please, no more. Is this true? Sad, I can't remember, brah. It's Jimbo, his I-Core funnel. That's the tongue of the manatee. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I left it back in the big guy's stomach. How could I forget? No wonder. Okay, so that's what it was. <laughs> oh, no. Smart, smart of them how to uh, loop that one back around, not have it be useless or just a, a thing. Oh, you mean the developer wise? Oh, yeah. But the character wise? Yeah. Bloody heck, the idiots. Here we go again. For another round trip. <laughs> now where is that bloody thing? Oh, that ingestion and digestion has tossed the tongue of the manatee into the bile pool. That's a long way down. Yeah, it would have been a longer way down if we didn't have the bile raised already. So I think we should be able to hook it. Because I don't it, it think we want to reach <laughs> with the hand. Yeah, it is not we know why we want to raise it up. gonna have to adjust to life with a hook hand. For starters, I shouldn't do that. Yeah, you can just grab it normally. The Tongue of the Manatee, Travel Edition. <laughs> okay, and uh, the express way out again. <laughs> it's worse when you know what's coming next. Insert fart noise. <laughs> Uh, he just cringes. Okay. Here we go. It's the travel edition. I'm gonna have to make do with the phrases that come preloaded. Here goes nothing. Best start with courtesy. getting anywhere until I learned to understand his language. Okay, so we solved half of the puzzle. Now the other half. 
Hmm. And for that, I think we're going to need to piss off the voodoo lady some more. Or maybe the Kava has something on that. Hopefully. This is my only way to communicate with giant manatees. I need to keep it safe. What is it, Swabby? Let's see. You said there's a scientist on. Yes, something. Okay. Morgan thinks the Leviathan just needs a male to stand its ground. Well then, Shirano, learn to understand their language and find the tongue of the manatee. Then all I need to do is find her a suitor. All right. Okay, back to annoying the voodoo lady then. Go back, go! Make myself clear. Subvert me again, and the next time I get my hands on you, I'm going to. I think I know what we need to do. The arrow goes from one to the other. So, what if we swap the pictures around? One of if we can square and the other is round. What a modern design. Is. Oh, oh. Hmm. Oh no. What am I doing in this spindly husk? It can't be tree pulled. Perhaps I have leapt into the decrepit shell of a sailor suffering starvation. Or the torpid corpse of a malnourished deckhand. Okay. Hmm. So we need a picture of you know, who do we need a picture of? Uh how do we get out of this? Oh, there we go. Hmm. Or also, we need to reverse it. Uh, yeah, would you get pissed off when you see you replace his photo with yours next to his love? Uh, yeah, he's going to be pissed off all the same. But let's see. Can we? I'm gonna have to adjust to life with a hook hand. First hmm. We need to turn that thing around somehow. The voodoo lady. Oh, wrench. This button is kind of loose. I can't turn it with my chubby fingers, though. Can turn it with this, though. Now the arrow points the opposite way. This should be interesting. Or fraught with peril. <laughs> there we go. She's so good to kill us. Oh, no. Guy brush. This voodoo throne is plush, comfortable, ergonomic. No wonder she never stands up when I arrive. Ah, the Daisy. <laughs> also, that she can't get up, but I need to talk to the Marquis de Singe. Okay. She she has to be able to get up. <laughs> Well, this table is very close to her, so she might actually be stuck in between. Now, what is this with these cards? It's a picture of an incredibly handsome adventurer on his way somewhere. Let's see. Actor, cards, target. Okay. So we need to use this to cast a spell. <laughs> Next me now. It shows a woman conjuring a curse. Yeah. It has the picture of a fractured scientist on it. Now he's certainly fractured in the head. So, oh, oh hello. Voodoo instructions. Instructions. Hmm. Didn't take the voodoo lady for the forgetful sort. Uh, let's see. For sizzling voodoo action, fill slots with tarot cards. Slot one, the one who acts. Slot two, the action taken. Slot three, the one who receives the action. Just for the fun of it, let's see what happens if we swap these around. Text me now. I wonder what this does. Curse you, Guy 
brush three wood? That wasn't so bad. Okay, that didn't do anything. So swap these back around. Did we just? I don't know what we did there. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, what a terrible wedgie! I wonder what could have caused this. <laughs> okay, not what we needed the to do heck? then. That's where I first met my old pyrite pal. It's like sitting under the mistletoe, except for the occasional drips of shrunken head juice. Ew. When you handle tarot cards all day, it's important to moisturize. All the ingredients needed for a big unhealthy voodoo salad. Hmm. Uh, what if we swap these? Just keep screwing with the marquee. <laughs> Oh, is that correct? I like otters. They are so cute, but potentially ferocious. They are the wolves in sheep's clothing of the sea. Hmm. Perhaps I could develop genetically flambéed attack otters. Ah. Okay, so the journey... Hmm. Uh, what did we... Uh, I don't think we want this fracture guy brush, but let's see what this does. Or is that going to... Oh. Whoa. That was like massive instantaneous liposuction. Not that I've ever done that sort of thing. I Wait. beg your pardon? Did we accidentally stumble into the right combination there? Yep, let's find out. Actually... We probably should have you we probably should have put Guybrush as the target with uh, the marquee next. Hmm. But let's double check just in case. Also, how does this thing have these <laughs> programmed? I'm not getting anywhere. Okay, so we did okay. All we really did was break the connection. Okay. Hmm. So once again, we go back. We <laughs> possess the voodoo lady. And this time we try to find the correct combination. This time, behave. You hear me? Behave. <laughs> yeah, you should say that to Guybrush. You are guy rush in this moment. Okay. Now what will this do? Curse you, guy rush three wood. Oh, that that just makes him curse. So bad. <laughs> that just makes him curse, literally. Uh. What will this do then? Oh. Come on in. Um, enter my mystical lair of voodoo. Just makes him come over. Bonjour, mademoiselle. I have traveled here to. Uh, uh, pardon me, I can't quite remember. You suddenly realize that science is a fad, your life's work is a waste, and you'd like a luscious shoulder to cry on? Huh? Never! How are you feeling all right? You seem, how you say, bizarre. Actually, I may have really swallowed some bile earlier. Uh, that is nice. I would be going now. Wait, while you're here, I want to ask you something. Hmm. <laughs> I understand that you speak the language of giant manatees. And I'm not referring to your silly accent. <laughs> How do you know of this? Yes, I have a book that can teach one the language of these majestic creatures. May I have this book? I feel no need to give it to you. You will just tarnish it with your mumbo-jumbo voodoo nonsense. You have no respect for these sciences. 
<laughs> Don't me get, me get out of this chair. Uh, Is everyone from your country so uh, unhelpful? The children of my homeland are indeed the fantasy world has to offer. There is a reason we call our country the maternal walrus of the West. Eh? Wait, what? Listen, I... faggot for brains, I'm warning you. Oh, what? You always have no power over me. Marquis, bring me the book of the manatee language or I'll give you an education on voodoo from the business end of a curse. <laughs> you make me laugh. <laughs> this, this is the sound of my laughter. <laughs> there will be no curse, because I am not believing in it. <laughs> With that, I must go. Hmm. Okay, so... Hmm. Actually, if... will this make her get out of Does the freaking chair? Let's see. Hmm? Does voodoo and hoodoo and... I think it also is just Hodo both that unless the target believes in it, the spend might not work. Hmm. There, there, I believe in some game systems you have to do. It is impossible. Her powers can have no effect on me. <laughs> Look at me, stressing out oh. over some trumped up magical threats. Ridicule. <laughs> Okay, so now we heck now we <laughs> now we wedgie him. For he's he, he does believe in the voodoo a little bit. He does yeah, make he him more. It, it. Yeah, how to look into the voodoo stuff? Oh, oh, that is the worst wedgie I have ever known. Heavens to hippos! I can practically taste my underpants. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is impossible. She could not have done this to me. Hmm, perhaps I will bring her this silly textbook, just in case. <laughs> there we go. Whoever could it be? It's open. I have brought you the language textbook you have requested. My motivations for this act are meaningless. Take it. Oh, for me? Thanks, Mark. Put it there on the table. Now scram. <laughs> <laughs> and that also disables Learn this the thing. Enchanting language of the giant sea cow in twelve easy steps. Let's see. <laughs> twelve easy steps later. Those are the most tame, drunken heads wow. I've seen. Who knew manatees had such an impressive vocabulary? <laughs> Okay. Now we break the spell. Actually, what does this do? Or did we do this one earlier? I would I would certainly like some uh, Monkey Island theme uh, you know, tarot cards. No, nope. hello during the chat noon. <laughs> okay. Oh, just appeared. <laughs> hello hey. in noon. What a carrot. <laughs> Uh, Guy Bros was just ensuring that the rest of his miserable life is going to be hexed all hell and back. <laughs> uh, the voodoo lady is so go- Now she isn't going to kill him, she's going to wish- She's going to make him wish she killed him. Uh. Here goes nothing. Best start with courtesy. Uh, sure, gotta, uh, but we gotta watch my diet. Some grass would be nice for a change. Adorable. Plankton. Can you do the talking? <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Oh dear.
I'm, I'm a bit disappointed they didn't put in some sort of voice acting on this, even if it was just only the grunts. Okay, so we do. I was thinking maybe we, that would reset things, but uh, let's see. How to know? Getting around. Uh, visit the aquarium. You're not nervous, are you? When I get nervous, my legs get extra sweaty. You need to know that. Um, uh, to see? Show us if you're uh, nervous. Hmm. We're going. We're going to need to figure uh, out the correct responses. She can't really get out of there. Okay, we just need to find the correct answers to her questions. Hmm. Maybe we need to talk with Morgan again? To... Hmm. It has limited translations. Yeah. idea how to respond to some of these. Hmm. Yeah, we need to lure out and further. And I, I was actually going wanting to go back to the categories with this. Um uh, Yeah, I have no ideas of what to. I'm I'm just going straight up going to look how what answers to give because I have no freaking idea with this. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Like some of them she asked, the might be answer, but there's a lot of things not really matching what she asking about. Let's see. It, it's like sword. It's like the uh, insult sword fighting without practice. Uh, 
Yeah, and so far that made less sense even. I'm so confused. And there we go again. When she completely retreats, then it's when Not it like resets. It retreat. When she fully pulls back, that's when it, well, fails. Hmm. Okay, we still have half an hour for this. Hmm. I always thought giant manatees were mammals. I always ordered my sea cow medium rare. Okay, so apparently we need, to <laughs> we need to answer with uh, humor to it. Uh, oh, there's a there's a thread here that should have all the correct answers, it says. A page not found, of course. Uh, hmm. Does this have anything on it then? Let's see. Manatee. Uh, Uh, here we go. Here's a list. Uh, what was that uh, one? Uh, what was what was your last line? Um, hmm. You don't know. Ah, uh, yeah, but bunch Unsure. of cold fish. Yep, the wrong one. Okay. What's where? Oh, I accidentally skipped through that one. Uh, let's see. What's where you sli swim? Uh, nobody knows the way to my heart. Do you have a map? Okay. You know what I'll say after that very bloody hunt? I'm guessing that's the that one's the ketchup line where blood or ketchup. Uh, just in case. No, apparently not. <laughs> Where is this one? Ah, there, the me. <laughs> Clever. Uh, Okay, just squeeze out. <laughs> it's a freaking Star Destroyer. I'm up in Lonely. Well, there they are. <laughs> She's like five times his size. <laughs> How does uh, it feel, Hillian, to be a Cupid? Uh, a matchmaker for manatees. <laughs> <laughs> Flesh eating manatees. I, I, I'm pretty sure red manatees just eat seaweed, sea plant. There it is. And the mm, probably fish. I've crossed seas, survived an island siege, nope. boarded countless enemies, seven, give or take, traveled the entrails of a manatee, and courted marine life all for this one moment. Thought it, it kind of shrunk in the wash, I think. <laughs> oh.
Yeah, but it's draining him of the voodoo curse. So that's going to be a nice start. Uh, I do. Wow, it works. I feel better already. Yep, well, the splanches are gone. Time to take my sponge of Pequeno to the lane. <laughs> Uh, I get the feeling it's not going to be enough for what we need. <laughs> okay, it was just loading. Oh, I got it! We finally got it! You really hoodwinked old Coronado, eh? Now, I've just got to get back to her and... What did you mess up now, Guybrush? I knew it! Huh? No, Dacaba, it's not like that. You are a backstabbing sponge and woman stealer. This is the mm. end of the line. Really? Hear me out. The guy. I thought you swore you'd never serve another tyrant. In light of recent events, I've had a philosophical breakthrough. But what about Moose and Noogie? Where's... Yep. There. This is why you always have a plan B. Where are... Where is Noogie? Last attention to detail that that, plan B? that yeah, wood bike fire. Ow! Yeah. Ooh, this must be petrified wood. Also called it. Being homemade by a lunatic, these cages are surprisingly sturdy. Yeah, it's the same cages again. Well, <laughs> when did you find time to dig those up? Okay, still not done here it seems. Morgan, how do we get out of here? No idea. This is your kind of thing, isn't it? Let's see. Can you reach the rope holding my cage? It's too far away! Hmm. I'll figure something out. Better do it okay. fast! Dakava's getting away! Oh, he's actually over there. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Your sword! There we go. Thanks! It felt like I was missing a part of me. No offense. Now, can you reach it? Can you reach the rope holding my cage? It's too far away. I'll hmm. figure something. Better do it fast. Are we actually on a bit of a time limit now? If I could just reach that rope. Uh, you could. Oh, hello. Morgan. Well, that solves that. Can you reach the rope holding my cage? No, but I bet the blade of Jagoda can. And come back with my sponge. You'll never have the sponge or my lady's love. Moose, bring me my prize. Sure thing, boss. I think Santino picked it up. Uh, what? Oh, right. <laughs> Santino's was kind of wait. wait. They forgot the sponge. <laughs> and bring her about yes sir then empty the cannons <laughs> on him me hearties hey morgan they forgot the sponge <laughs> you they're coming back do something <laughs> guy brush first things first <laughs> okay uh that thing isn't lined up but let's try it For me to shoot the cannon and for you to surrender the sponge. Okay, that's not going to work. <laughs> uh, okay, how do we get you down? Anything we can get from here? Uh, I spent some good times in that cage. Dive rush. Okay, so we Where can't do you go think up. You're going? Hand over the sponge, or the manatees will forever mate over your corpse! <laughs> hey. Uh, actually... Ooh, that, that's a right. There we go. There's no mask like a rubber tree mask. Quickly, bring up another cannon from the hole! Okay. So we get to use that bit twice. Oh. Oh, come on. Yikes. We still don't get to do that. Okay, what do? Another cannon, rapidamente. Can we really not go up here, or what else can we do? Morgan, everything going all right up there? Just peachy. How do 
I free you? It won't matter if Takava sinks us to the bottom of the Caribbean. Take him out. Oh, wait. Uh, hurry. I'm being dumb here again. First, we can get him to destroy his cannon. Another cannon. Rapidamente. And then we use our own. Bye bye. Yep. <laughs> you can't sink a boat made entirely of rubber trees. Oh, I should have thought of that. <laughs> Come on. Uh, hmm. What? I, I thought this was a mirror of metal or something. Can we put something Another in the cannon, cannon or something? Uh, can we fire the laxative at you? There are many things I'd like to do with that, but shoot it out of a cannon is not one of them. No, we'd want to. This is going to be annoying. That slippery savant built his entire ship out of rubber trees. Touche, Coronado. Hmm. We already used that. We. Can we fire a cash mechanic? Many... No. The whole... This thing? Many... Uh, I, I don't you want to use fire that. The... To call him anti. This is my only way to communicate with giant man. If that means that we can just jump down. And while the manatees are on their dates. Uh, so I doubt we can just leave Morgan behind. Besides, I have to come right back up in ten minutes. Okay, if we do if we go try to go up, we well they get their nice. cannon back early. Another okay, that is the first step. Maybe with the buoy or something? Can't reach it. Hmm. Okay, I'm I'm drawing a blank again. So I guess we'll just have to wait for a hint. Hmm. So they're just an absolute terrible Five shot. Hours later. Uh, wait. Maybe we need to use a goat for this. Now what? Just load a cannon with a goat. L shoot the goat over and let the goat wreak havoc. Mm. You never seen goat simulator? I have. Another cannon. Rapid up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we maybe aim this thing somewhere else? <laughs> no, 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 we're not gonna buy any goats. You're safe. How many freaking cannons does he have on that thing? <laughs> hmm. I can't give it up. I need it to cure a lane. Uh, okay. Tongue of the manatee. Travel. Uh, All the manatee. Okay, I don't know if those are terrified or angry ghosts I'm seeing that in chat. It's Elaine's wedding ring. A seahorse head. Giant manatees snack oh, on these things oh. like crack for people. We can't another shoot cannon. it, but there are a lot of manatees around. So maybe, yeah, th there we go. It's loading. <clears throat> Sorry, little buddy. He's resorted to hurling detritus, sir. Hope you're still hungry, fella. Time for uh, a trip back home. <laughs> of course, Moose is happy about going back in there. But now without his uh, favorite mug. <laughs> 
Now that I think about it, keeping that seahorse head in my pants the entire time I was underwater probably wasn't the safest course of action. You really think so, Donald? Well played, Threepwood. And I didn't even have to run anyone through. Yeah, you let a manatee do your dirty work for you. Hey, look at that. Oop. Are they holding hands? Flippers, but yeah. Yeah, their date went off well. <laughs> Have fun down there. That's that's kind of gruesome in a way. Huh. Having them meant to eat them. I don't know. Wherever nature tells them to, I imagine. That's nice. Yes, it is. Morgan. Chapter 4, The Trial and Execution of Guybrush Streetwoods. Nope. Oh. Is this just going up? <laughs> Hello, Murray. <laughs> okay, let's just stick through this just to see what the hell he does. <laughs> you have a worse haircut than I do. <laughs> okay, let's let the Parsons, all dressed up and no place to go. Let's leave him to do the riffing. <laughs> Roseman, that guy again. Animation. I need no animation. I live. How many numbskulls does it take to make one? You're already animated. Joe Pinney, the man who taught me everything I know. Everything I know about evil. <laughs> uh, the testers, sitting in a dark room with lava lamps and they think it's heaven. Sound? I don't want to hear it. Damien, are you really a lumberjack or do you just like the plaid shirts? Marketing? <laughs> I sell myself. Jake, go talk to somebody who cares. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mary, pay attention. Oh, the play testers. All that pizza had no idea what kind of meat it was. Oh, voice actors. Let's see, anyone familiar? Whoa, that's a filthy lie. This is my <laughs> own voice. <laughs> Danny Dill. He's been around forever. Go away, old man. Randy Tudor, I will end you. Uh, Any more? <laughs> oh, like all these people had something to do with it. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> and now Murray's going to be stuck here for a while. Wait, is he? <laughs> He's going back into the freaking chest. Raise the burning face of hell. <laughs> At last, I alone rule the interface. I have taken control and none shall. <laughs> <laughs> have fun, Murray. <laughs> I don't know crab do. <sighs> I don't trust the crab. Feeling right as rain now, Captain. As refreshed as my days as a cabana boy in Borneo. <laughs> what did I miss? Captain? Oh dear. <laughs> okay, so that's the first time they actually did an after scene bit, probably to explain what the hell happened with Winslow between the bits. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn it. We have 10 minutes left, so let's actually start up the fourth chapter. And at least get the intro of it done. Yeah, I would be able to skip that, but sure, 10 minutes might be enough for it at least to start.
yeah, to at least see what the hell is going to be happening next time when we start this up. So, chapter four, the trial and execution of Guybrush Treepwood. Oop. And I forget each time that I have to set each of these separately to windowed modes, because now it's picked up everything. Uh, settings. Hint frequency, subtitles, audio is good. Graphic settings, that needs to go to 1920 by 1080. There we go. Mm. Full screen I off. Forget this thing. It needs to be selected again, so let's swap this over. Uh, come on. I also Monkey Island. Monkey Island 104. Okay, you should catch any second now. There we go. Okay, this time there I didn't go, forget yeah. to check things. See. Okay. Wait. Well, now you, you and everyone else can see. I, did, I turned those on. So let's see what sort of shenanigans he will Good be stuck boy. in at the start. While searching for a cure to the pirate afflicting parks of Lechak. The fates of Guybrush, Treepwood, and Morgan Le Fay are blown off course when they are swallowed by a lovelorn leviathan. Much to Morgan and Guybrush's surprise, an uneasy alliance to escape the beast blossoms into a genuine friendship between the pirate and pirate hunter. A tidal shift that leads Treepwood to the elusive fox curing a sponge grande. <laughs> But Guybrush learns too late that it is the wise pirate who prepares for the inevitable change in the winds as Morgan betrays him and returns him to the scientific clutches of the Marquis de Sange. Nope. Okay, and that makes sense. He just uses a freaking rowboat. And back, back here. And it's still just raining freaking <laughs> advertisements everywhere. Oh, hello. Wait, is that thing now changing on its own? He's going to be disappointed now that the curse has been lifted. Or at least, uh, expunged. I did not actually mean to make that pun. 28, 29, 30, pieces of... Oop, got short. Just as we agreed. It had better be, or I'll cut the difference out of your fluffy wig. I got an idea. Why don't you let me go and I'll pay you double what the Marquis is paying. Don't embarrass yourself, Sprayfood. I'll auction off my entire collection of autographed sextants. Ah, Sweepwood, you grossly underestimate the value of that which gushes through your body. Well, I've got a pretty good idea. Why my spit alone once won me 8,000 pieces of eight on Booty Island. Then you should die knowing that you gave a priceless gift to science! <gasps> Finally! I've got this Sweepwood. I've got the formula. And soon I'll have nothing left than life eternal! Oh, I'm as happy as a penguin sliding on its belly. The penguins do tend to look pretty happy when they do that. And Morgan's having second thoughts. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. What is this? Ah, it's a welcome back party. I hope they brought ice cream cake. I think they have I rather... Streetwood. We've been waiting a long time for this. <sighs> hey, why can't I stop my legs? What? No! No, come back! This Cracker Croaker's got a date in the court of pirate law! You test tube tinker and Talleyrand! What? And then the scurvy dog will hang. <laughs> okay, <laughs> magic summon. 
<laughs> it's it's literally illegal summons. <laughs> you, after him. Hey, I brought you three wood and you paid me. We're done here. We'll just see about that. <laughs> So the judge is finally back. How the hell are we going to um, save ourselves from this? Are you all right over there, Nim? I didn't. I didn't actually know what to expect of this, but I didn't expect. Well, it's to be an actual freaking trial. Captain Threepwood, having been found guilty of our charges, you will be taken to the nearest ship and keel hard until your ravaged skin hangs in tatters from your bleeding. But I haven't been charged with anything yet. You haven't? Where's that incompetent prosecutor? <laughs> right here, Your Honor. Oh, oh, don't oh, tell me. <laughs> Come Sorry, I'm late, Your Eminence. Oh, old Stan had to inflagrante his delicto, and there was a line in the washroom. Belay your excuses, you sniveling sea weasel, and get on with the charges. I've got grog waiting for me at Club 41. Of course, Your Immensity. Your Honor, pirates and wenches of the gallery. Hey, that's us. This evening I will prove beyond a scintilla of a shadow of a yes. doubt that Guy Brush Threepwood is guilty of no fewer than four heinous crimes. I thought there'd be three. Firstly, that he did knowingly engage in a bar fight that horribly injured the beloved feline of local pirate elder, Hemlock McGee. Hey, it's too good for it! Secondly, during this self-same fight, Captain Threepwood spilled boiling nacho sauce on the exposed leg of Bolson Catherine Craig. Hideously scarring one of Flotsam's shapeliest gams. Get him alive! Thirdly, that he did conspire with one Joaquin de Oro to craft and sell counterfeit porcelain power pirates. It's all about spreading the box! And finally, that he folded, spindled, and mutilated this previously pristine ex belonging to Flotsam's newest arrival, Killick Hardtack. What the heck? Um, yeah, he did that to me. Captain Threepwood, having heard okay. the grave charges arrayed against you, how do you plead? <laughs> Yay, I'm not guilty um... by reason of insanity. You look pretty sane to me. Sure, now, but any second I could start using monkeys as needle nose pliers or shooting myself out of trebuchets or doing strange things with rubber trees. I'm crazy, I tells you. Crazy. The defendant will cease his inane histrionics or the court will be forced to. to yank out his tongue with a rusty shrimp fork. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has to park hey, that. No insanity defense. These charges wait, are wait, stupid. Wait, 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 wait. And believe hmm? me, I know it's stupid. Off. Captain Threepwood, you're out of order. I'm out of order. You're out of order. The whole mizzen mastin pirate legal system is out of order. The defendant will shut his festering gob before the court shuts it for him. Okay, the shake is a bit too Sorry. much. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> See, they changed Stan's voice actor here. Yeah, can't say I like that bit. <laughs> and I did not expect his jacket to still do that weird thing it does. <laughs> yeah. uh. I plead 1000% not guilty, especially that last one about the X. Very well. Let it be recorded that the miserably guilty defendant has entered a plea of not guilty. Now, who would you like to represent your pathetic case? Hey, Stan, why don't you represent me for old times sake? You mean those old times when you swindled me out of a ship, stuck me in a coffin for three months, scammed my insurance company and got me involved with high risk doubloon derivatives? <laughs> uh, yes. Sorry, kid, nothing personal, but I stand to make a bundle in legal fees off these honked-off flotsamites. They really don't like you. <laughs> Wait, so even despite all of that, he still would have helped us if it wasn't for the fact that he'd be getting paid for <laughs> getting us <laughs> uh, I don't know if I admire that in him, or I just that makes me just all the more annoyed at him. <laughs> makes it both? Yeah. 
And yeah, no, this, the this judge is, judge is biased. Very, very, very biased. <laughs> okay, uh, we are at the two hour marks, but. Hmm. A part of me gets the feeling that the most of this is going to be in this courtroom right here. Uh, but let's let's go at least through these two bits. Don't you have some sort of public defender? A public defender in pirate court? <laughs> a maroon. So that'd be a no then. I guess I'll represent myself. So do Captain Threepwood, are you aware of the old pirate court saying? The pirate who represents himself in court has assumed to be keel hauled fool for a client. <laughs> yes, Your Honor, and I am that fool. Fine! Your move, Counselor! Here's your briefs, kid. Oh. Witness K Hartack, charge con consultant abuse? What? I thought for a moment I heard a freaking mosquito. Let's see. Plaintiff charged that defendant ruined his perfectly good ex is suspect but plausible. Court hope has he's not just making things up. Recommended sentence to pen to pens fine I'm guessing and death by hanging really. <laughs> Come on. Witness K Krabs uh, charged thigh crimes and misdemeanors really. Discontinuation of Club 41's uh, natural sauce uh, makes proof of guilt uh, difficult, but Earth deems it unlikely that some other mix of fluids could have caused perhaps distinctive burn. Like a minute sentence, 23 uh, gold fine, death by corset. Okay. Witness H. Hey, McGee, charge felonious feline frightening. Plaintiff's pussycat seems traumatized, but court has seen far too many crippled pirates miraculously healed by the tonic of a cat in a settlement. If that kitty moves and ends, this case is over. That commanded sentence, one ball of yarn, death by mauling. <laughs> why is everything, why is everything by <laughs> sentence with death? Uh, J. Doro. Uh, charge counterfeit collectibles. Witness testifying in return for lighter sentence. Court doesn't trust stool parrots. Their testimony is only as firm as their last bribe. Recommended sentence. Confiscation of sextants death by eight side dice. What? Eight It's not the you know, dice. Wait, there's no dice eight side. Oh, is there? There are, yeah. In games like Dungeons and Dragons and such. Tabletop. Oh. Why are we a witness? Uh, defendant arrested in possession of tiny sea sponge with the insist will cure the pox. Court is skeptical but has confiscated artifact as matter of policy. Defendant also in possession of unremarkable uh, wedding ring that will likely be used to defray his funeral costs. Come on. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> okay. Uh and let's call it so there the then. Titia? Uh, probably the ship that someone crashed in with. Let's see. Betrayed by pirate hunter slash biggest fan Morgan Lafley, Guybrush Threepwood is delivered to the clutches of the Marquis de Singh on Flotsam Island, but before. Uh, the but before the Treeport obsessed scientist can begin his painful experiments, the mighty pirate, trademark, is hauled before the pirate court of Flotsam Island and accused of various execution worthy crimes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, this will have to wait for next week, though. Yeah, where we will face our greatest enemy of them all, <laughs> our true arch rival. Stan. Stan. Uh, yes, you wait, Stan. But for now... <laughs> thank you, everyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you, Noon, for chatting along for a bit. Uh, I hope you enjoyed what you did get to see. And of course, thank you as always, Drakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, tomorrow we'll 
you know, tomorrow we'll probably have the Minecraft stream. We could maybe try to put in something else later. Uh, but we'll have to see. Uh, I, I'll, I'll have to double check what time my shit starts on Monday. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, 3 p.m. local time here will be Minecraft stream. But for now, thanks again for yep. watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, people, and watch out for stamps.